Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's show. I have some uh, absolutely amazing, astounding, wonderful news to share with you today. An absolute miracle in the ministry took place this week. We have been doing this show for a little over two years now, and the biggest thing just happened this week in the ministry, and I'm so excited, and I'm so humbled. I'm almost, I'm a little emotional, on honestly. I'm so humbled by what by what's happening, and I just want to share with you. Um, you know, just even starting this ministry was such a an act of faith um, to come back. I felt like God was telling me to go back home, and after being on this this trajectory, this course for nine years of my life, and and you know, and, and I don't say this to toot my own horn. I promise you, but just being on this trajectory of of being co-hosts and hosting such large programs on direct TV and dish network all under, you know, other people. And then the Lord says, go home and start new. And it was such a crazy act of faith to do that. And maybe one day I'll, I'll share with you. I mean, I had zero dollars. My wife and I um, had zero dollars. She was pregnant. We were expecting our firstborn baby and to go home and start a TV show. Where Lord, how Lord, how is, it, it's gonna, how is this going to happen? But I felt like he was asking us to do this. And we did it. And we have been experiencing miracle after miracle these last two years. And I'm telling you right now that we're about ready to go to a whole new level. I'm so excited to share this story with you. Um, last week, we did a, a, a fundraiser show. I'm giving you a big update on this right now. And, and remember, we only plan on doing this one time every year. So last week, I shared three huge goals that I would like to accomplish um, this next year in the, in the calendar year of 2021 for this ministry. The first one was to stay on Comcast Cable, which we signed a contract just a few months ago um, for, for the year of 2020. And to stay on Comcast cable for the entire 12 month calendar year. And it was going to be roughly about $16,000. So we were trying to raise that money. We were also trying to raise um, about that exact same amount again, about $15,000 to hire. Uh, his name is actually Eric Rodriguez. He's my brother in law. He worked with me at Jim Baker's, he worked with me at True News to hire him as a social media director and marketing specialist. That's what he does which is so incredibly important as our digital footprint is expanding, we can't keep up with it. Like, for example, something else amazing happened this week. Um, I posted a little midweek update, and I'm actually going to be playing part of that midweek update in today's show. We posted it on, on Facebook like two days ago, and over 60,000 people, that's an entire stadium of people, watch this video. And hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people have interacted with this with this video, and its ultimate reach on the on all of our platforms is over one hundred thousand people, and about ninety percent of the people that watched it loved the video, and about ten percent absolutely hated it. They were, you know, and they they were liberal god haters, and they would say the most vile, most disgusting, I mean, things in these comments. And they'd be happening so quickly, you can barely keep up with it. And that's why hiring someone like Eric Rodriguez to, to constantly manage that day in and day to day out, because you're not going to share something with, trust me, with some, with, some, with, with, with some of those comments said, you're not going to share that video to your grandma, okay? So we were trying to raise money for Comcast Cable, 16000 to hire, hire Eric Rodriguez. And this was the big one, to go on direct TV and Dish Network through the entire country, putting us in more than, this is such an, an, an amazing number, over 45 million homes. Now, the Lord has shown me several things in, in the very beginning of this ministry of where I believe he is taking this ministry, not just for the last two years, not just now, but in the years coming. I really do feel, and, that, and we're not there yet, I feel like we're going to be a part of creating truly an online type of OTT platform 
that Christians can go to. Now that's like such a, such a vision. I understand that. But everything else that, that I felt like the Lord was, was doing and, and what he has been doing in my life these last 12 years, it's played out such, in such an amazing fashion. God is so good. So we were trying to raise six months of airtime fees on CTN, which is just over $1,000 an episode for only a half an hour. But that is what would expand our reach, expand the number of people that watch this show to, the, to a whole new level. And that was for six months. We're trying to raise six months of airtime. So the grand total, <coughs> excuse me, the grand total that we were trying to raise last week was just over $56,000, something that that would be truly um, unprecedented in, in this ministry if we raise this in a singular fundraiser. So my, expect, my expectations were, were very high. They were. Um, I was really excited to see what the Lord was going to do. Whenever we did this seven months ago, um, we did this in April, and it was to build this television studio, which we have a fully functioning, top-notch television studio with all the right equipment. It's an amazing studio. And I stood in here seven months ago believing that God was wanting to do this. And God's people got behind us in a radical, radical way. It was actually oh, in just the first couple of days, online alone in April, when we're raising money for this studio, over $20,000 came in, in just basically just over the weekend and just online. That was a, a, an amazing, amazing thing. So I'm telling you a story because it, it's going somewhere that you're, you're not going to expect. And then I'm going to share the miracle with you. So about a week ago, we sent out our, our newsletters. You saw us and you can go ahead and put it on the feed. We had our big stack of everybody who's donated um, uh, ever in this ministry. And we prayed over it, believing God that he was going to do a miracle. And so we sent it all out, expecting God to move. Um, we sent out the big email blast. And if I can just be totally transparent before you, because I want to be, I want to move forward always in this ministry, no matter how God uses it or doesn't use it. He is sovereign. No matter how big it gets or what happens, I want to stay transparent before you. And so whenever we sent that out with very, very high expectations, we're trying to raise over $56,000. Um, about $1,200 came in. And, and I just want, you know, I, and I'm just being transparent because I'm human. Um, it took the wind out of my sails. I was, uh, I was just so confident that God was doing this. And, and I just thought to myself, maybe I just didn't hear right. And sometimes that happens in life. You know, it says in Proverbs, in, the heart, in their hearts, humans plan their course. But the Lord, he's one that establishes their steps. And so, and so maybe it was just, I thought, well, maybe it's just my heart. Maybe I just I just got it got it wrong um, that we weren't supposed to do this at, at this at this moment, but I was just confused because it just it felt like last time to build this television studio um, seven months ago was impossible to raise tens of thousands of dollars seven months ago was impossible, and yet. It happened, and I felt like the Lord was saying to do it, and I just felt like that. So yesterday was was Thanksgiving, and um, and I I truly did. I just decided to just totally give it to God, and I and I truly not just in, in my, you know, not just with lip service, but truly, like, Lord, th this is yours. Um, I'm humbled. Um, I can see I'm totally not in control. If this isn't your will, then then that's fine. And and I'm not to be so melancholy, but sometimes I am melancholy. And I and I said to the Lord, Lord, listen, if you never blessed me again, 
what you have already done in my life is so much more than I deserve. If, if I got this, I, I'm totally fine with it. You are so good. You are so in control. Um, and I just truly gave it to God. I put it in his hands. The, the phrase, I, I truly, I let go and I let God because he's sovereign. If he wants this message that we send out with our small team here, if he wants this message to go out in a greater compa capacity, then he'll do it in his timing. So in the moment, see, this is a spiritual thing. In the moment that I truly just said, God, it is totally yours. I got a call. God is so amazing. And he does it because he, he sharpens your faith. That's what he does. I don't think people understand. You know, they see us do the show. They, they see like right now, it's just a weekly show. I don't think people quite understand how invested I am in what I feel the Lord has called me to do. Like it is my life. It is, I'm set out. There is nothing else I will ever do in this life. It is this. It is what I feel. <clears throat> God, excuse me. I don't like crying on TV. Don't like it. Of what God has called me to do. I'm so invested. I'm so, I'm like, I feel like I'm a soldier, almost like Frodo in Lord of the Rings. Like get your orders and that's your life. And I love it. I love, I love it. So the wind was taken out of the sails. And I said, Lord, you're totally in control. You've got this. If it's not the right time or if it's never the right time, I'm, I'm your bond servant. You know, I'm your, I'm a slave unto you. Um, and I got a call out of the blue yesterday, <clears throat> a miracle call on Thanksgiving, nonetheless. And it's Mark Eskender. Okay. You've heard me talk about him before. Um, he's an amazing man. He's the lawyer from Beverly Hills who manages several trust funds. And he's actually the man last time that gave us the first $10,000 towards our new studio. Whenever I remember I stood in this garage in April, casting the vision, holding that letter from Mark in my hand. I had, I didn't know Mark from Adam, just a random guy that messaged me. And he said that he was going to match the first $10,000 that came in. Couldn't believe it. Unbelievable. And so that is, that's the guy I'm talking about. So Mark called me yesterday and, um, and he said he watched the fundraiser show last week and he really felt that I wasn't supposed to raise money to be on direct TV and dish network on CTN for only six months. But he felt like I was supposed to raise money, not only for Comcast, not only for the social media and uh, director, but to raise money to go on, um, CTN, DirecTV, and Dish Network, the whole country, not for six months, but for the full year. And that he said that he felt like he was supposed to move in this moment. And that he felt like he was supposed to match dollar for dollar what comes in for this fundraiser. And he is prepared to write us right now a check for $50,000. The moment I said, God, you're in control, not me. And so I am sorry. I do, I do not want to be the guy that cries on TV. <laughs> um, I have to raise this money before the new year. And I'm just going to ask you, if God is moving on your heart right now, in any capacity, please be a part of this miracle. So into this ministry. I don't know if you'll ever receive a reward for it on this side of heaven or not. I'm not telling you that if you give to this ministry that your problems will go away or that God's going to make you rich. <laughs> but what I am telling you is that you'll get a reward in heaven. I, I can say that through scripture, with you, through the authority that we have in scripture of what the Lord has said. When you give to what the Lord is doing, you are literally 
in the most literal sense, you are literally storing up treasures for yourself in heaven. Eternal tre treasures, where moth and rust cannot destroy, where thieves cannot break in and steal, as the word says. When you give unto the work of the Lord, you are taking your physical earthly treasure and depositing it into eternity. Let that sink in. You are taking a physical withdrawal in the physical and depositing it into eternity. And listen, for those of you that want to get behind us right now in this absolute miracle, when God is moving, move with him. You're not only just so is sowing into this ministry. We're millennials, basically all of us that, that are from, from me, Andrew, to, to Eric, to the accountant, we're all millennials. You're sowing into the next generation of ministers that maybe even be ministering long after you've gone to heaven. That's a legacy. God is moving right now. Please get involved in a great way. Ask God, God, what is a sacrificial gift that I can give right now while you're moving in this ministry? Get involved today. Because remember, so Mark is prepared to write us a $50,000 check but it's only what we raise. So if you give $1 right now, it'll be $2 because he's going to give that extra dollar. If you're going to, if you give $5,000 right now, he's going to match that other 5,000 up to $50,000, which means I'm, I'm sorry about that break in the show. Literally what just happened with what I was saying and what I'm saying right now, there's about a two hour time difference because we got done with the show. It was being edited. And out of absolute nowhere, my mic just 100% cut out. My batteries were full. It was receiving a good signal, but, and so I'm not, I do believe in spiritual warfare. I, I will say that, but I'm back. And so what I was saying in that moment was that if we can raise this money, that will not only pay for our Comcast, continuing what we're doing now, it will not only pay for Eric Rodriguez to become a part-time um, social media director and, and, and marketing specialist, which we desperately need, it will pay for an entire year on CTN. That's DirecTV, Dish Network, through the entire country, 45 million homes. And I believe that will, that will extend our reach in such a way over this next year that the new partners that will, that will discover the show will be able to help me, um, pay for that year after year. So I just don't want you to think that every year I'm just going to keep hitting you up for this. But right now your dollar means more than ever because it would not be possible. We don't have the massive base to pull from in this moment. And a miracle is taking place. So I just want to say, please, right now, go to ZachDrewShow.com. Um, and, and donate through Tithely or PayPal there. Just click the bright orange donate button, or you can write us at IGBY, which stands for I Go Before You, IGBY, The Zach Drew Show. And you can write us at, at P.O. Box 797, Decatur, Illinois, 62525. That's P.O. Box 797, Decatur, Illinois, 62525. And I want to talk about legacy. Because I want to talk about just even the people that gave last week. I want to give a special thank you to Freddie, to Paul, to the Manholins, to Catherine, Sean, James, Caleb, Richard, and Gerald. They didn't even know in that moment that their everything that they gave last week was going to be doubled. I want to thank you for leaving a legacy. I also want to take this moment to honor six people that have gone to be with the Lord, that have helped us this year. And they're the ones that are actually providing the $50,000 match. You see, I, I've said this before that, but that Mark, he manages several trust funds. And these six people, before they passed away, they got all their ducks in order and they said, I want my money to go to good works, to doing good things. And they're funding the kingdom of God. What an amazing thing. What an amazing and incredible legacy. The money that they donated all year, it comes from these six people. John Cariello, 
We, we honor them and their memory and their incredible legacy. Steffi Morris, Uncle Bill, and we also want to honor and, and remember Melinda Lee Meyer and Edwin and Eleanor Meyer. They have such a legacy and they won't be forgotten. An incredible, incredible thing. Listen, please get behind us right now in this miracle why God is moving. Um, I want to talk about Sidney Powell in the next part of the show. Um, a lot is breaking, and we're going to cover it in a news update next week as well with what's happening in the two states. It really looks like three three states could be overturned. Listen to the whole video. You think I'm going to go one direction in the beginning, but it's not going to go that way. It's going to end up being a very, very good thing that's happening with Sidney Powell. I love you guys. Please get involved right now. Where is Sidney Powell? And, and and why would the Trump campaign say in such a clear, definitive, uh, appearingly uh, aggressive type of way that Sidney Powell is not a part of Trump's legal team? Look at this. Trump campaign statement on legal team. Sidney Powell is practicing law on her own. She is not a member of the Trump legal team. She's also not a lawyer for the president in this personal capacity. That's from... Rudy Giuliani, what is going on? Is Trump's team crumbling from within? Is the end, uh, you know, now in sight? Does this spell disaster for Trump? Is he about to concede? You see, wh why would President Trump distance himself from a woman who has quite literally become the champion of the people? I mean, instilling such a confidence uh, into his base that many of us truly believe and believed that this election could be overturned. Listen to some of the powerful statements that have come from Sidney Powell. We're getting ready to overturn election results in multiple states. Uh, when it asked if she could prove the fraud in the little time that she had, she said, I never say anything I can't prove. Even going on record talking about the evidence being so powerful that when it's proven, it is gonna be of biblical proportions. Then the blow came. Sidney Powell isn't a part of my team. Why was she at the news conference then? The big news conference that happened Thursday. Why was Trump's, why has Trump's legal team even said that she was on the team? Why did President Trump even on November 14th put her in a lineup on his Twitter feed that she was a part of the lawyers representing him? Something has radically changed. Is your head spinning? What's going on? What's happening? I can tell you what's happening. It's a strategic plan that's unfolding. That's what's happening. You see, there are two different streams of thought. One, this is the beginning of the end, crumbling from within, he's about to concede, it's over, the end is in sight. Or, this is a part of the plan. And I believe it is a part of the plan. Let me read a couple of important tweets to shed, to shed some light on, on this. Here is uh, Michael Flynn Jr. The, I'm talking about Michael Flynn, the general. This is his son. Um, he parlayed some initial information and he said this, Sidney Powell has been suspended from Twitter for 12 hours. She understands the White House press release and agrees with it today. So she agreed with what the Trump, the, 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 the Trump campaign released. She is staying the course to prove the massive deliberate election fraud that robbed we the people of our votes for President Trump and many other Republican candidates. He later added, this is very important, Sidney Powell has her own separate entity for legal donations that isn't in conjunction with the Trump legal team. It frees Sidney Powell to do her own thing, which will still be biblical. Give this the 24-hour rule. So this is freeing her to do her own thing. Another tweet. 
Uh, can confirm this parlay, Sidney Powell is free to focus and not be tied to having to vet everything through the campaign. That makes sense. If Powell represents the campaign, the government regulates individual donations. If she's apart from the campaign, things are less constrained. Sounds like a strategic move here. Lynn Wood also chimed in, assuring people Powell is in the game. She, he says here, Sidney Powell and I are more alike than we are different. We are fighting different legal battles for the same clients. We, the people. The people voted overwhelmingly to reelect Donald Trump. All interests are aligned. Hashtag fight back. You see, this is advantageous to Trump to clearly make the point that she is not technically on his personal legal team because it frees her to do her own thing, to bypass the red tape, to not have everything vetted before being released, okay? That's what's happening. And that's also the first level of analysis. Let's go deeper. You want to know what is coming? I am forecasting that Trump is about to clean house. That Sidney Powell is going to be a department head. She's probably going to be the new FBI director or something like that. For that to happen, she has to distance herself from Trump for her to be appointed. Sidney Powell has not stopped what she is doing. But because she'll have to one day soon, I believe, go through a process and be voted on confirmed. And when trying to be confirmed to this position that I am talking about, it wouldn't look good if she's Trump's personal attorney. You see, Sidney Powell, and it's amazing, she's not taking any money. And she's not on the Trump legal team. So when Trump starts going after those who committed sedition and treason, Sydney will be able to walk right in front of the military and try them. She'll be able to prosecute them in front of the military. And very, very few attorneys are qualified to do that. To make this clear, Sidney Powell could very well be the attorney that will try those that committed voter fraud, which is treason, before military tribunals. You see, Trump may start this battle that we're about ready to enter into, but the military is gonna to have to finish it. Trump and his people, they can't do it on their own. So many people have been caught in this sting that's about ready to happen, and they know it. Like Adam Schiff, Mr. Motormouth. Notice you haven't heard the man say a word lately. You wanna know why? I believe he's caught. He is trying to figure a way out. Pelosi's caught, her son is caught, and many believe that General Flynn is going to emerge to be some type of new George Washington. He's going to help pull this country together during this time. Something big is coming, people. Really big. Don't give up hope. You know, Sidney Powell is helping to save the Republic. You ought to give her 25 bucks if you can. I actually, right before this little update, I went on her website and gave her $25. Uh, if you want to do that, because it's going to cost crazy money to do what she's setting out to do. You should donate to her. Once again, like I said, she's doing it all for free. I'll leave the description to her page in the, uh, the, script, the description below. Also, when you go to the website, it looks like there's no pictures, like the website's not working. That's because it's being overloaded right now. You can still put in your information to donate like I did. That's gonna do it for today's update.